In this video, we'll be reviewing Zoho Creator's new OpenAI integration tool called CoCreator. CoCreator can be used to create applications within Zoho Creator, creating forms as well as workflow rules and custom code. Before we jump in, if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Feel free to leave any comments with any questions or requests for future tutorial videos. And as always, if you need help with your Zoho implementation, go over to our website, click on book a meeting, and we'll be able to hop in to help your team directly. Well, let's get started. In order to access the co-creator tool, you'll just have to go into Zoho Creator. There are again, three different ways that you can leverage this tool, either to create an application from scratch, which is recommended just to use to build out the foundation of whatever app you're trying to build. It can also be used to create forms as well as workflow rules or custom code. So the first thing that we're going to go through is creating a custom app. So with Creator Open, if you click on Create Solution, you'll see the typical prompts that we're used to seeing. So create from scratch, create from gallery, which is the pre-built options that Creator offers, and then import from file. But you'll notice that there is a new option up at the top, create using Zia. And so through this tool, you can build a functional application using generative AI. And so we'll go ahead and click on create. You'll see that similar to any other generative AI tool, you'll just go ahead and enter in some details on what you're trying to create or accomplish. And that prompt will be used to build the foundation of the app within the creator platform. So for this example, I'm going to do an order management system where customers can view our products and place order requests with shipping and just say shipping details. And then we can go ahead and click start building. You are also able to upload any sort of attachments. And so these can be flowcharts, any sort of diagrams, any sort of Word doc documentation of any processes that you might have in an outline. But for this example, I'll just go ahead and start building with the prompt. And so it will take a moment just to process everything. The first thing that you'll notice on the screen is that it's producing a data model. And so a data schema is always the core component of any application. So all of you software gurus out there might already be aware of this, but anyone that might be just now starting to dabble in a software administration, this is essentially everything running in the background and how fields and modules are all associated with one another. Here now we can see the data model that Zia has created in alignment with the prompt that I put and so we see the customer's module. It looks like that customer's module is associated over to an orders module. An order has an order status. We also have customer support module here, a products module, as well as an order item module. And so all of these components are the core parts of the data model that Zia has put together for us. We can see some example use cases on the left-hand side here. And so some examples that Zia has identified would be product viewing, so allowing customers to browse and view available products, order request submission, so enabling customers to submit order requests with their selected products, shipping detail entry, so facilitating the entry of shipping details for order fulfillment, order status tracking, providing customers with the ability to track the status of their orders, and customer support access. So a way for us to offer access to customer support inquiries related to any sort of orders that are placed. Like I mentioned before, using the co-creator tool is mostly beneficial for creating the foundation for an application. And so it's very important to view all of the little details of what Zia put together for you. Let's say that I also want the ability for a customer to be able to change one of their order requests. And so we'll go ahead and click add custom. Customers are able to change their order requests. We'll save one day for shipment. So we'll add that. And then once we add that in, it will re-examine the data model that it initially created for you and make some adjustments to accommodate the new information that you added in for the use case. You are also able to click on this generate button and the AI tool will start examining the output that it just produced for you and see if there's anything else that it would add in. So if I click on generate, it'll generate an additional use case. And so here we have a product comparison tool. And so it added that feature in, and that is what it is going to build into the application itself. And so if I click generate again, we will see another use case populate down below. So an order history review, and it will again scan through the data model that it configured for you just to make sure that all of those use cases on the left-hand side can be accommodated by the data model. 
And so if everything looks good from this point, again, I do recommend scanning through some of these fields as well, just something to keep in mind as you move on to the next phase of creating the application. You can add in custom fields, make adjustments as needed. And so we'll go ahead and click on create application. This might take just a moment for the co-creator tool to just process everything. And so we can see the order management system is being created. We already finished up the use cases section. And so now the tool is creating the application components. Once those are created, it will add in user permissions. And so it will configure the user permissions for the application based on the use cases that we described. So we can see customer, guest user, order fulfillment specialist, there are some blueprints that are going to be added in as well. And so this is the feature in the co-creator tool that allows automation to be built out using Zia. And so we can see an order fulfillment process blueprint is in place as well as a customer success workflow. And then now it's going to examine the actual workflow rules within the app. And so product availability, validation, stock quantity, weekly sales report, order reminder. And you can see live all of the things that the AI tool is processing and implementing into the system. Once it's been created, we will see that it says your application has been created. And if we click on access application, then that is where we'll actually be able to see what the tool has created. But I do want to highlight this note down at the bottom. It is recommended to delete all sample data after testing the application. There are two components I want to call out here, test the application and then delete the sample data. And so really make sure that anything that you have being created by co-creator, by any AI tool that's out there, be sure to examine it and review it very extensively and thoroughly. When it comes to software, especially software that your customers might be engaging with, you want to test it to the fullest capability before launching it and before adding in actual customer data. So uh, we'll go ahead and access the app and we'll see what Zia has built for us. Before recording this video, I have played around with the tool just a little bit and I did notice that it tends to put together very similar formatting for all of the applications that it creates but the visual aspect is very nice and neat in my opinion. You are able to edit this application, which again, I highly recommend editing so that it fits maybe your branding for your company. Maybe you want to hide a couple of things. Maybe you want to adjust a couple of the reports on the dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and do just a quick review of what the co-creator tool actually built for us. And so we can see the dashboard here. We have total item prices, total subtotal, total total amounts, total total amounts again but it has a different value. And so of course we'll want to examine how are those calculations actually being made. So that's just another highlight or call out of things to double check before you actually launch anything from this tool. But I do like the visual aspect on the dashboard that up at the top, we can see, you know, item price information, total amounts, but I do want to specify what these amounts are. We can see some statuses here. I do like this node here. So we can see that two are delivered, two are shipped, zero canceled, and one pending. On the right-hand side, we can see some quick links. And so there are some buttons available for us that Zia has created. So we can add a new order item, new order history, new customer support, and a new customer. This will, by default, and I think this happened with the other applications that I created before recording this video, but it will populate everything in a new window instead of a pop-up on your screen. So that can be something that can be adjusted, but just something to keep in mind. And so if I want a new order history log, I can create those. And they are pretty simplistic looking forms that are generated. And so we just have the field options themselves and a couple of examples. Um, so you can see some sample information here. Customer one through five is what they entered in for sample data. The status options, we have open, closed, in progress, and other. We don't think they have anything else fancy here. They have the other option for free type. And if I go back to the main screen, we have add a new customer. This will have a form for the customer name, email, phone number, and shipping address. It looks pretty simplistic. Of course, I will want to beef this up quite a bit. And so I'm going over here to order items. This will take us over to those forms as well. And so add new order item. It looks like this button is attached to this module here. Order histories as well. We have customer support and then customers. And then, of course, the orders and products themselves. Other items on the dashboard, we have some general reports that the co-creator tool has created for us. So we have price by stock quantity. And so we have the price here as well as the quantity of those items. Not necessarily sure if this would be applicable for what I'm looking for on a dashboard, but this is a good example of just some of the things that the tool can output. 
we have status by total amount. And so this is actually a really great one. I love that they generated this. And so I can see the total amount of money within each status. And so that's a great thing to examine. The second piece that we're going to examine is the capability to add a new form using the OpenAI integration. And so if we click on edit this application, and we'll go to the plus sign so that we can add a new component to the app. I'll go ahead and click on form and we'll see some options here. So we can create it from scratch. We can import from data. We can use a lot of different templates or use an integrated data source. But for this video, we're going to, of course, explore the Zia option. And so we'll click create using Zia. And let's say that I want to add in a form for someone to submit a product request. So if a customer is looking through the products on our catalog, but they want to request that maybe we look into selling or providing a different product to our customers. And so design a form to allow customers to submit requests of specific products they would like us to add to our catalog. And so we'll click on suggest form fields so we can see the customer ID, the product name, product description, quantity, request date, and status. So that should be sufficient for what I'm looking to accomplish. So we'll go ahead and click on create form. And then here we can see the product request option is here. Product name, product description. Let's say I want to add a couple more fields in. And so let's see. Manufacturer. Say I want to make this mandatory. Product description. Quantity request date. I'll make this with an initial value. Let's make the current date. And then the status options are there. So we'll go ahead and click on done here. And so now we can see that the products option has been added in. We'll access this application. And now we can see that the product requests form has been created. And so we do have all of the fields that were reviewed by us. Now we can see that that form has in fact been created by co-creator. Another thing that the co-creator tool within Zoho Creator is able to do through the OpenAI integration is add in custom workflow rules. And so if I click on edit this application, we'll go back into the app builder. Instead of the design layer, we're going to go over to workflow. And then let's go ahead and add in a new workflow. And so let's have this based on a new product request being created. We will do successful form submission, notify internal team, and then create a workflow. For this example, I want our internal team to receive a notification if someone submits a product request and they did in fact put the name of the manufacturer on there. And so what I'll want to do here, let's do on a condition, product manufacturer is not null, so it's not empty. And I do want a notification to be sent, but the space where this automation lives is specifically within the code builder. So let's go ahead and navigate to using Deluge script in order to send an email notification. And so instead of typing the script from scratch, what you can do is click on the little Zia icon in the top right hand corner. Once you click on that, you'll be able to type in a prompt of what you want this script to accomplish, and then it will generate a code for you. Again, as always, please review the code that you have any sort of AI tool generating for you. You'll want to review it intently. Uh, you'll want to test it to its fullest capacity before actually launching the product. So send an email notification to the super admin letting them know that a new product has been requested with the band manufacturer all right and so i will want this script to send an email notification to the super admin letting them know that a new product has been requested with the manufacturer's name listed and so i'll click on send the Zia assistant will start generating that code for us. Now I can see that the code has been added in here. I can review it here and I can also click and drag it into the code builder itself. And so here we can see 
that it is going to fetch the manufacturer's name from the current product request form submission, so it's doing that appropriately. Um, and then the next piece here will be sending an email notification to the super admin about the new product request. A really great thing, which you might have already noticed if you've used tools like ChatGPT in order to create custom code for you, is that it will create comments in the code just to let you know what that next piece is doing. Typically, that's a really good practice to have in place, even if you aren't using AI to create code, just so that it's very scalable and accessible for other users to be edit in the future. So that's just a little tip there. Looking at this email template here, so it's using the send mail function through Zoho Deluge, it's going to send it from the super admin user to the super admin user, and it is leaving a note here for us replaced with the actual super admin email address. It has a subject line as well as a message, and from what I can see, it looks like it formatted everything correctly. And so super admin at example.com, let's go ahead and get this changed. I'm just going to change this over to my email address. So we can go ahead and click on save. And so now this rule will execute if the product manufacturer is not null upon successful form submission of the product request form, it will go ahead and grab the product manufacturer name and then send an email notification over to my email address. So we'll go ahead and click on done here. And now we can see that that workflow is now implemented and enabled. Those three components of application creation, so creating the foundation of an app, creating forms, as well as using Zia in order to help assist you with deluge scripts, those are all capabilities accessible within the co-creator functionality in Zoho Creator. I do recommend taking advantage of the fact that this feature is fully accessible for all Zoho Creator users for free, so it's not only available through extensions or purchased add-ons. This is just something that we have fully accessible to us. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe below. If you have any questions or comments on how AI can be integrated with your Zoho platform, or if you have any questions in general on the co-creator functionality, feel free to leave a comment down below for us. Thanks for watching.